Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We are playing some Legion tonight with the Crashed Imperial Raider as our terrain. And I am running Emperor Palpatine and Operative Darth Vader. That's right. I'm running Palp with no Royal Guards. This is an eight activation Palp list, six core and two superstars. We're going to see how well it works. Here's what I'm running. I'm running Vader with, uh, I'm going to start Palp with aggressive tactics, force push, and anger. I'm running operative Vader with force reflexes, force push, and endurance. I'm running two stormtroopers, one with a medic, and then both of them have the RT-97 Charlie stormtrooper. That, kind of like the Imperial Z6, almost. Great with already having surge to hit. I'm running two shore troopers, one with the T-21B, one, surprisingly enough, with only recon intel and two DF-90 mortars. Uh, that's, uh, that's all I could fit in this list. It's suboptimal for the typical <coughs> Imperial gun line, but hopefully it will be enough of a threat to allow Vader and Palpatine to electrify my enemies. All right, and I'm playing Sean's prime list for all of this lovely stuff. Yes, it's Jin once again with duck and cover, environmental gear, and her rifle config. We've got two units of rebel veterans with offensive push, recon intel, CMO 93, the comms technician, and HQ uplink. Lots of activation control over here. Two of the Mark IIs. A single rebel trooper with DLT-20. Uh, one single sniper with the... Oh, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, the sniper's over here. And then two pathfinders. Bow, bow and pistan... No. Pow and Bistan, <laughs> duck and cover, and then their their configs. And oh, a single Tauntaun. And the cool thing here is the Tauntaun's running comms jammer, which will be a little bit interesting. It'll be that that could be that could be quite interesting. All right, now before we get started, um, how many activations are you running? I'm running ten. Ten versus eight, so I'm already very much act out activated. Uh, we went with key positions, rapid reinforcements and Disarray, and of course this takes place from the blue player, Sean one blue player, so he's gonna have that corner and this corner. Um, and, you know, we, uh, and I'm gonna have the other two corners, and we decided to mark the key positions, uh, since it can be any terrain piece, we started with some of these uh, crates. This one was just, just like two millimeters outside of my deployment zone, so I went with that one. Sean did something very similar with this one that was just like, like three millimeters out of his deployment zone, and of course the center, piece is right there. Uh, it's really going to boil down to a big uh, kind of push for the center. Uh, we're going to see. I expect to see Tauntauns probably running up this way because I will most likely deploy most of my forces over here to lock this one down and, and to push into the middle. Since the middle, uh, I do have some walls and some actual line of sight blocking terrain uh, over this way. Uh, so I, I feel like it'll be, I'll have an easier time trying to get to this one. Um, but that could also be a double-edged sword. But it's easier to approach from that end as well, since this is kind of open right in here. And this is the crashed uh, Imperial Raider from Tier Terrain. You can check out my reviews on that on crabbox.com. It's a really modular set. Uh, and it's, you can... it's, it's fun, it was even fun to watch you build it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun just yeah, putting it out on the table and be like, all right, where do we want the wreckage? Do we want like this in the middle? Do we want, because I think last time this was in the center and this was in the rear. So we changed it up a little bit and it's it's like, you know, it's a little bit crowded, uh, but you know we spaced it out for, uh, a some pretty good amount. Yeah. Kind of yeah. So I got back there, uh, and also I had to do rapid reinforcements. Now this array hurts me. Rapid reinforcements hurts me here. The cool thing is though that I can take a detachment and I can use them with rapid reinforcements, and then I can kind of place them almost where anywhere I want. So that's well as long as it's within you know range of other folks. But that'll be fun. We're gonna deploy and kind of see how this battle goes. All right, so we are set up. Tauntauns over here, uh, sniper over there. I put one stormtrooper unit over here. Uh, everything else over here. I had to let the scout unit kind of move up a little bit. Uh, but he did get the stand like right behind that piece of terrain, which is blocking, and but does give him the ability to kind of move around and take some shots. And at range three, those pathfinders get two white each, which is going to be a little bit rough. Um, for command cards, he played his one pip. Uh, I tricked him out a little bit. I psyched him out, and I played standing orders. And what did you play? You played the one pip, the evasive. Reduce, yeah, it reduces the, the your. Yeah, and that was a generic one. one too. So that means you've only got Jin's one pip left. Yeah. And so if I can kill Jin, I know you won't have any more one pips. Um, here's my command cards, by the way. I didn't use any of these. 
yeah. I would love to see yours. Tell me all about yours. Um, yeah, but that's that's basically what we have going on right now. And so we're going to get started. Uh, since you won the roll off, you guess I guess you're getting to go first. And we each also have a guy waiting in the wings to drop down somewhere on the field. Yes, we do. And you actually could get yours first since you actually got four units out of your pile. I really was tempted to go with an entire legion right now so I could just pull from the pile and uh, get those guys out of there and then pull from the pile a second time and then drop my guy wherever I want. Because that could have been really advantageous for me at this stage in the game. I'm going to go first. All right. These guys are going to go. All right. They are going to move and shoot. Oh, lovely. All right. We'll be rolling some red dice. We'll be rolling like eight, eight white. Uh, no, no, nine white and a red. Oh my goodness! All right. Two. Well, let me use my dice today, just because they're oh, closer. Oh, you use your dice? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, you can you roll. Oh, okay. You can roll yours. We don't have to do tournament Two, style. Four. Come on, blanks. How? Come on, blanks. Oh my goodness. Uh, one, two, three, four. I no, see no. four. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? I searched this page hit. I see one, I see five. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a crit right back here. Oh, I couldn't see that one. Thank you. All right. So six and no cover. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. That's, no, that's, that's not too bad. I got, I blocked three. Oh, well, that is kind of bad. All right. So here's basically what happens. Um, I pulled from the pile, got operative Vader right away, took a free dodge was able to move up, force pushed these guys, just had range, pulled uh, his Bistan unit around, he uh, pulled from the pile, got core, uh, and that was like a one in, you had a lot of special forces or... I just realized something. So What's that? What is it? <clears throat> you did your force move. You could have pushed these guys inside, left Bistan out, so if you did shoot, you only have Bistan leader in sight, you could have killed Bistan. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. I don't oh, have yeah, any vehicles. Yeah, no, that does make sense because he's yeah. exalted. He can give some damage. Yeah, it's, but it's, you're losing, you might, you're yeah. risking the more, mass of murder versus. Yeah, I'd rather be able to get more than one oh, wound at this point. Yeah. That's, that's, that's that, an idea I had. That, that is a good idea. That is because I could yeah. have put most of them in there. I get to apply the cohesion because the leader's all the way back there. Uh, but I think in this case, I mean, I could activate these guys, fire support, and try to do that. You can have fire support. Hmm? Too close. Danger close, danger close. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I did put them too close, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. Huh, well, these things happen, but that's okay. Let me pull from the pile. One, two, three, four, or five. Which one would you like? Two. Core. All right, well, then we can go with somebody else. We can go with somebody else. Huh? That's to be those guys. No, I have these guys over here. Oh, and I have another them? unit right here. Oh, that's lame. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got all of that. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so I, I pulled core. I went with these short troopers. They're just naked short troopers, but they were close enough. I just decided to move in and melee, um, or it was a double move. So we just we forced an engagement. Um, it's actually used to Bistan here. So this guy's touching, and these guys were all like there. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically I'm touching, and that's how it's going to go. Uh, just, I wanted to force it since I don't want you to. I'm pretty sure pulling from the pile again, you're going to get special forces, and I don't want you to be like, oh, I'm close range now because they are in close range config. Mm -hmm. Now I get all these red dice on Palpatine, and I'm like, no, 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 bad idea. No, 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 no. All right, you're up. All right, I'm going to go with this core, the unit over here. Oh. All right. Oh, they're going to do some fire support. That's going to be rough. He's going to touch that. He's touching that terrain. He's touching. Okay. Oh, so no heavy cover. No heavy cover. Yeah. Are you going to go for the Stormtrooper unit with the medic, I'm guessing? Uh, it's... Yeah. All right. So Sean moved those guys up and fire supported split fire. And he got basically uh, three units off of my Stormtroopers and then two units off of the Shores. Uh, I laid the Shores down because I think the Stormtroopers will probably pick up the Shores because the Shores are a little bit better. This is my, my full or my, my bigger Shore Trooper unit. And I still got the heavy weapon over here with the Stormtroopers. So that's the biggest, uh, you know, thing of the Storms. And it goes to me again. Um, I am going to have you pull from the pile. One, two, three, or four? Three. Three. Commander. That's going to be Palpatine. This is where the most beautiful thing in the world is going to happen. Because Palpatine is going to move and have Vader pull the strings, and he'll move into there and melee uh, that's your true. unit. That was why I wanted them tied up so Vader could move again yeah, for free. Actually, oh, yes. yes. That worked? Yeah, hopefully. All right, so a couple of things have happened. Uh, we did some shooting back and forth over here. Vader um, moved in. Vader, oh, yes. 
Um, Palpatine pulled the strings, Vader kind of went in, sliced up this unit, only one, only the leader is left, he disengaged, so this way I was eligible to be shot. Tauntauns moved up, didn't get any shots. Uh, I did fire, got some suppression, no wounds. Um, snipers activated, took a shot on my stormtroopers behind that piece of terrain, didn't get any wounds because the heavy cover canceled it. Well, it was light cover after they went. Sean dropped his rebel troopers in. And right now this veteran unit is splitting fire against the shores and Vader, not using fire support because he's afraid that, you know, putting everything on Vader, and Vader has the dodge and he's gonna deflect and, you know, it could be really, really bad. All right, so a uh, white is going to Vader? Yep. All right, Vader's got heavy cover right now. So, um, yeah, just one, and that's gonna be one suppression. Uh, well, I, I have a name. Okay, do you Good want, work. no, Vader's already got a dodge also, so you'd but have to roll crits. Yeah, I have critical, uh, critical two. You have critical two, so you get the, you have two chances, you have a two out of eight chance on each die of getting. Okay, okay so you got one crit, got so. One crit. All right. You cannot spend crits. Or can't spend dodges to... I can spend the dodge anyway. Uh, yeah, I could can. spend the dodge anyway. It wouldn't do anything, but it would give me defensive surge. Mm -hmm. um, and that would then kind of force you into this position of like, well, I'm getting an extra suppression anyway. So let me put this on here first. Yeah. Um, do I want to spend it... What, do I have a, a chance to do a damage back at you? No, I'll, I'll just roll the die. I'll just see. Um, we... I can't even see what that is. That's a block. Okay. okay. So, all right, Vader, no damage. Right, so this is to this is to the shores, which have light cover. So that'd be two, because it's still search to hit. You have search to hit. So, all right, so then they'll roll against two. Uh, they will take two. They'll take two, I guess. Ouch. All right, no, which two do I want to kill? Well, I'll get the farthest forward ones, right. I think. Yeah, that makes the most sense. All right, uh, and it goes back to me. Yeah. Oh, I got these shores right here. I really would like to... Hit the tauntauns. I'd have to move to do that. So you can see the rally. Yeah, it all depends if I rally or not. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's see. Let's see if I can rally. Yes, I do. It. All right, so we're gonna move and shoot the tauntauns. He's yeah, I'll pass you to him in a second. Um, so we we, <laughs> we we rallied. We moved and shot. I got all damage through. Yes. Four crits. Well, one was a surge. So three natural crits. Um, spent the aim. Didn't even have to spend my surge. Uh, we and he rolled four blanks. Uh, okay, okay. It has to be this guy. It's the only one I can see. Oh, it's the leader. Yeah, it's the only one I can see. That's true. Well, actually, which means then he's going to replace with this guy. So we'll, yeah. we'll we'll swap him out. But that's also going to be a third suppression. So that, that's why I'm saying you're kind of screwed because now you have to pivot first. Yeah, I wasn't getting where. Do you have reposition on them? Yeah, reposition. Okay, so but you know yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have to move from farther back, which means you might not even have a range two shot. That's fine. Like, you probably will. Okay, so we're moving into turn two, and I am going with. Uh, who am I going with? Vader. Uh, well, I, I played uh, Master of Evil. It's Darth Vader in two units. And you played Jin. Trust mm -hmm. both goes ways. But I can't say goes both. I always say bows go ways. Um, <laughs> and so that's where everything is right now. Um, oh, man. I don't know who you're going to go with first. That's going to be real interesting. Um, but, yeah. So he gave the order there. Uh, they had got a dodge from getting order teamwork. Um, and is it, does she gain teamwork right away or is that the beginning of the... Uh, if you, um... Oh, when Jyn or someone issues an order to left from the trooper, that unit gains teamwork. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. Uh, and then he HQ uplinked again because he recovered. Oh, uh, and then they gave it over there. So a lot of order tokens over here, a lot of fire support abilities, which, uh, you know, I'm not super crazy about. All right, so now you've done that. I'm going to do it with mine. I got Master of Evil, Darth Vader, and two units. Darth Vader gains a dodge token, so I'm going to put that on there right away. Um, oh, I was supposed to take one more surge away because he oh, had right, endurance. Sorry. I forgot that, which I love endurance on him if he's going to be spurring. Um, Yes, and uh, the other two units, boy, that's going to be really interesting because I'd love to do one here that gives that one, but I'd love to get one on that guy. I'd love to get, well, you know, so here's what I'll do. I'll Darth Vader, and then this, the, the, these guys, they'll pass it to here, and then Palp, and then I'll have all core in the pile. That makes the most sense. All right, so, yeah, Vader has the one wound on him still, too. So Vader moved up twice. Uh, did his fear bomb, and so suppression on everybody. Moved up to Jin uh, and rolled five hits. She dodged one, but she got hit by the fear bomb, so she's gonna have three extra for her her craziness. How many blocks total? No blocks. Or two oh, blocks. Two, but he's up here's three. Yeah. So yeah, that's four, four damage. Yeah. That was a pretty good hit. Yeah. Didn't want to kill her because I wanted to stay engaged. She already went, so now I'm safe. Unless you know, maybe somebody wants to come in and try and melee Vader, which please, please do that. <laughs> All right. All right, um, so this guy, I, I dropped this guy over here to try to hope that this was for the condition for rapid reinforcements. 
hoping that we'd get some shots on them, but I didn't activate them soon enough. So he's almost dead now. The Tauntaun, I did kill one Tauntaun, but the other one's coming around to finish him off. He's pretty much done. Uh, my Stormtroopers over there kind of shot at the snipers, didn't do anything. Um, Vader has Jin almost dead. These rebels came around and we're doing some damage in here. I don't think I've lost a full entire unit yet, but I have a couple units that are almost dead. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, most of my suppression is gone. I've got a couple of units all hiding over here behind this terrain. Uh, those guys didn't get to do a whole a lot because they all had a bunch of suppression last turn. So like the one unit recovered, the HQ uplinked. Um, you've got Jin going right there. You're gonna have Jin. I don't know what. Maybe she's gonna leave and then you fire support. You can't you can't fire support into a melee. Um, no. She could interrupt and attack if if I activate Vader. Uh, I guess that's that's something. All right, uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, issue my order. So, so we, I played new ways to motivate them uh, as my command card, and you went with Jin's one pip where she can interrupt. Yep. All right, um, and so I'm going to give my orders to Vader and Palp. This way I'm just going to pull from the pile, so i got all my core in the pile. It makes the most sense. I took a damage to get a free action out of him, and maybe this was part folly on me because uh, I thought I was going to reach Vader and... I was going to take like two moves and then pull the strings. Didn't quite get there. I thought I was closer than I was. It was not close enough. So uh, coming just around this corner, I'm going to take a shot on these guys. Touching this, but they're going to get light cover for the little piece of scaffolding. We said those are separate pieces that weren't going to be light cover. So I'm shooting into that Rebel Veteran unit with, uh, with Palpatine's regular attack. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to force push them. Well, let me shoot them first. They, range, what, so they said to be in range one, but I think... I think I got... Oh, my God. That's... I think I got range to that guy. Yeah. Yeah, from, you from can straight do it. Yeah. I, well, then I'm, I'm going to force push first. To get him out of cover? Well, to get him out of cover also, because if I kill them, you can just make that one guy die, and then I won't have range of force push anymore. All right. Yeah, I think that... Oh, I get a free aim token because I suffered a damage. You do? Yeah, that's awesome. All right, Palpatine. You little snooky snooky. That's a good combo. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. Force pushed them out of cover. Um, shocked. They had a dodge that saved the leader. So, But I did kill the rest of them. Uh, so that rebel veteran unit is now much, much weaker. Uh, then Sean activated this Tauntaun. Came over here. Shot this guy. Got the last wound through. And then is turning him around. Uh, he is going to... Um, well, this guy, this little veteran that was over here did not rally, so he only had one action. He moved and engaged Vader, so Vader's now tied up with multiple folks, which is interesting. Uh, I'm activating Vader. First thing Jin's going to do is attack him. I've got three wounds on Vader. If you got three damage through, you could kill him. Yep. I'm going to re-roll that one. Right, so three. Take three. All right. Uh, and I'll roll three. Watch these be three blanks. Uh, no. Vader's down to one health left. I'm really glad this guy engaged Vader now, because now I'm safe. The rest of this round, so I'm up to take oh, and two more. And that will cost me a suppression. And that will put another suppression on me as well. Vader is almost dead. That's a shame. That's a real shame. All right, and another suppression for Vader. Now I got a rally. Yeah. So I got four dice. Watch, I only get one action. I'll be so not happy. Yeah. All right, here's two. There's one, and then the other two. Uh, so I get rid of one. I do only get one action. Well then, but I still have my free actions, so that's something. Uh, so I will get a free dodge. Yeah. Just in case somebody else wants to come in. Uh, and I'm going to attack Jin. One, two, three, four, five. And that's five. Wait, I'm yep, sorry, that's, that's four. four. It's going to be three. Are you going to spend a dodge? Okay, yep. so three. And I think that's going to kill her. Not if I roll all blocks. <laughs> if you roll all blocks with white dice. Yep. Okay. Okay. No, that exact doesn't. opposite. That's count. Yeah, yeah. All, whew, rebellions are built on hope. Yep. Say that again. <laughs> I dare you. All right. So with the one sniper dead, the other one moved up, uh, took a shot there, did not get anything through. Uh, I took some shores around here, got one wound on the Tauntaun, um, could not quite get him out of heavy cover, but I still got a crit that made it through past the dodges. Uh, then everything else proceeded to fire on Palpatine. Palpatine blocked 100% of everything. So I feel like you can call me Ed with my crazy red dice. Call me Ed with the red. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, Vader's got one hit left, which is <sighs> scary. 
but I mean, at least he's engaged, so he's safe right now. And if Sean wants to waste an activation just uh, withdrawing, then I can respond. So uh, I'm feeling pretty comfortable about this. Okay, so beginning of round four, uh, Sean played Push, which is his generic two pip. He nominated Pow as his new commander. Uh, I played Vader's Might. So I'm going first. I gave Vader the order. Vader gets a free action this turn. Um, so we'll just have to see. You can't fire support into a melee. So I mean, like the only thing this guy can do is he activated that guy and then he HQ uplinked over here. I think the only thing that guy could do is withdraw or, or just try and punch Vader. Punching isn't a terrible idea, honestly. It's, it's really not. Um, Vader got a dodge from that? No, that's it's not my oh, dodge. That's my dodge. That's your dodge, yeah. Oh, okay, good. That is absolutely your dodge. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the pile. All right. One, two, three, four, five, or six. Four. Four. <gasps> Palpatine. Ooh, snap. That is incredibly juicy. That's that's awesome. All right. Well, that's it's not what I was planning on doing. <laughs> um, that changes things a lot. I didn't think he was going to go for a while, but all right, Palpatine, gun have at it. So, uh, Palp, uh, activated first, moved up there, shot those guys, killed two of them. That was a lot of bad stuff. I didn't have the aim. Uh, then he went with the guy that's engaged with Vader. He aimed and punched. If I don't get a block here, Vader dies. Yes. Oh! Yes. In the face. Yeah, and you know, the thing that really gets me is I only <laughs> used... He with that compact just... Well, I only <gasps> used Vader old cards. I have not ever been able to use one of the new Vader cards yet because I wanted to totally like throw somebody over a wall. Like that's what this would have been so cool. Like take this guy and like throw him out of the objective zone at the end. Move uh, Palpatine closer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That would have been really. Punched in I could have. I could have thrown him like all the way over here. Yeah. Oh, Punched that's rough. Face. That's rough. All right, I, I pulled from the pile one there. It did kill the other sniper, so now this point is kind of up for grabs. Yeah, but did. Pal moved up. How much that's damage? So Count that up, please, because I, I I'm feeling good four. about this. Four. Four. Yep. All right, four minus crits. six. All right, four crits. Red missed. Heavy cool. heavy cover over here. All right, so his Pal moved up. They're shooting through this. So I got heavy cover because of this building's kind of blocking some of it. And I'm gonna roll four. I'm gonna power through this. I'm gonna go into this building right here. And they're, oh no, they're dead. They're, yeah, they're totally dead. They're totally dead. That's two minutes go through. All right. Well, okay, so beginning of round five, um, and the turns are really getting shorter here. This is just a general summary. I, I've lost everything except this one trooper here. There's just like, I mean, this mortar, yeah, he's about to die to this Tauntaun, though. And this Tauntaun's too close that the mortar can't really, it can't really do much else. So it looks like it's uh, about done. Um, we're going to play some command cards, though, because I think this is probably the last round if I don't have some amazing something happen. Um, and I'm going with Given to Your Anger and Covering Fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll, uh, it's mine is just Palpatine, but everybody else is. Mine is just of these guys here. Yeah. Oh, that's the only core you've got left, huh? The only core oh, that you can reach. The pile, yeah. yeah. Um, I think that guy. Oh, you moved nope. it. He's yeah. not? He's not. Oh, damn. But I still, whenever I fire, I still get a thing, but. Yeah. Only for, only only core with a face up though. Yeah, like, right. No 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 any friendly any friendly. Core. All right. Pal could possibly panic. We're calling it here. Yeah, like uh, pal is probably making more sense. But what what, what do you have rolled? Uh, Five. Yeah. You wouldn't have panicked. Yeah. So um, you know so I played uh, give into your anger and he you know I played a free pip and uh, I went first. I, I had Palpatine pull the strings. Had this guy kind of move out of the way and then Palp moved to engage him. Just hiding. And then it, would just, it became apparent, like, I can't threaten here. He's got Pow, which can come up and touch this one. He's got these guys who can come there. And even if... I, my, my thing was I can force these guys to shoot since they had no shot anymore. They're going to get force suppression. But Pow has Inspire, so he can inspire them. Uh, and, you know, so there's, just, there's not much that I can really do. And this guy is, of course, going to tie that. So, you know, he'll have Pow and then that one guy in there. If only I could have killed that guy. That guy maybe... One big game. Maybe. Yeah, well, let me... No, he really did because he would have sent these other guys around if that was the case. Those those other rebel veterans, I force pushed them closer to me, but you would have sent those rebel veterans around they're the gonna, backside of it. Shots on that guy at least. So I'll do to your leader because yeah, yeah, that was that was a rough game. Um, it was fun. I had a lot of fun moving Vader all around, but uh, yeah. Auburn just... Vader is like the most mobile death machine I've ever seen. Yeah, I just uh, I just didn't have it, and uh, that one guy punching Vader really screwed up screwed up so much of my plans because I was gonna launch Palp closer to the middle, and then we would have had some crazy stuff, yeah. you know. But uh, the, the the funny thing about this build is that I didn't have um, Palp's one pip. 
uh, I opted to go with Implacable instead, hoping people would fear Palp. They would try to get damage on him. And then I'd say, haha, surprise, the, the final turn, Vader's going to get to go twice. That was what I was hoping would happen. And then he rampages through the middle, you know, kills that one guy, then goes again and then moves into Pal, wipes them out. That yeah. was the hope that did not come true. But it was fun. I had a good time with it. All right. Well, that's uh, about all we got for today. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Thanks, John, for playing. And we will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you again. And have a great day.